the number one question that I hear people whispering in in corners is, you know, monitoring and observability, aren't they the same thing? Like, is this just like a fresh coat of paint? Um, so, I mean, I've got my own take on that, but Skip, I'm curious to hear what you think about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, observability washing going on out there, if you will. And we've seen this pattern a bunch. Something becomes hot, becomes interesting. Everybody wants wants to claim that they're doing that. Um, I, I always, well, always, I've learned over the full course of time here to start with the outcome that you're trying to solve for, right? The outcome we're, we've been trying to solve for forever with applications is make sure they're working well, make sure they're working properly, right? Make sure you're always delivering a good customer experience even while you're making changes to them. And what we've done along the way is tried all these different slices of monitoring different parts of increasingly complex apps, app stacks to solve for that goal, right? You had database monitoring tools to look at the back end and get a bunch of metrics, you had infra monitoring to get a bunch of resource utilizations off the servers. Then you had NPM for the network. And then we went to APM to try to get closer to what is the end user experiencing but that you never had enough data to solve for that outcome. You're always trying to glue all these different slices together. And at best, I always felt like we were sort of peering around the edges of this big, increasing, increasingly complex machine and never got to the point where you could really tell exactly what the machine was doing in the full state of it from the sum total of all this monitoring data alone. And, you know, for a long time in some of my prior jobs, things like network sniffers were, were my favorite tools because that was the missing data from the things that the apps and everything else was spitting off. But we never really cracked the nut on full ability to understand the state of the system from the sum total of monitoring data. And, you know, and I saw what folks like you were doing in observability and getting down to that missing glimpse and getting the totality built that we would need to really understand and then deliver that outcome. Super, super exciting, right? Most natural evolution in the world on the one hand and on the other, really hard to do and get to. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with all of that. The, the thing that's been, I think, troublesome, I mean, your observability washing comment is well taken. I mean, there's now like observability for X is, um, uh, it's kind of a trope already, and it's you know it's only been happening for about a year. Uh, but beyond that, I, I think monitoring does have a really important role to play, and will remain an important aspect of observability. And and that's the thing that's been kind of problematic. I mean, I think of monitoring. If you're talking about outcomes, I guess it's about trying to find a way to connect the health of some part of the system that you're responsible for to the health of the business. Um, ultimately, that's what it's about. Like the reason that people get woken up in the middle of the night by monitoring is that something that could put the business at risk in some capacity is not healthy. And that's a really important aspect of, uh, of just maintaining a system, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. And that's not going away. And observability is a superset of that. I think the issue is that once you've you know, made the determination that, that health is somehow in jeopardy, there's a question of what you do about that. And I think the problem that we have in general is that the tools you use for monitoring typically are you know, using either event data in the form of logs um, or statistical data in the form of metrics. And you can kind of sort of take that data and slice and dice it and um, start to un uncover some clues about what might be going wrong. So you basically try to do observability with monitoring tools. And that ends up being very expensive or very ineffective or both. And that's the problem, I think. And that's why there's the need for a new category. And I think, Skip, you hit the nail on the head that there's so many different facets of yeah. data and telemetry coming out of these systems that um, uh, a, a thorough analysis, is, the hard part is that has to join across the facets at, at the data layer all the way up into the user experience. And it turns out that's a really difficult problem to solve um, in, a, in a number of different ways. Uh, but that's how monitoring and observability intersect in my mind. Monitoring Absolutely. for assessing health observabilities for doing something about that assessment. Yep. Yep. And back to your point about Brownfield, that applies, you know, to the, the app stacks for sure, right? The, this is a heterogeneous world. E even if you go to your favorite, you know, cloud native company and start using their app, very high likelihood that that experience you're getting as an end user is a combination of you know, microservice-based front-end type stuff, interaction type stuff, 
But man, if I'm on my banking website or my banking mobile app or my insurance mobile app, as soon as I start doing anything interesting transaction, like moving money around, that's cutting back across into more traditional app architectures in some case, cases back to the mainframe. And ensuring that experience is going to require the ability to look across exactly all of that. So to your point, Ben, yeah, it's going to be monitoring plus observability as the, the full solution for solving for that outcome.